Hello everyone, welcome to Infinity CAD. In today's tutorial, we will design this bicycle hub in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. So first of all, as usual, we have to create here a new part. And here I have changed its background to plain white, which you can do from here by selecting plain white. Now I will select here a front plane and then select sketch. Next, just select here a line and uh, draw one horizontal line like this. Okay, then again a vertical. Right click, select. To activate a line command again, you have to press L button so that the line command is activated. Now, select this point and uh, draw one vertical line like this, then horizontal and again like this and select OK. Next, I'll select here a spline and this point and this will join here. Then just select right click and select. Okay, now just assign some dimensions to the sketch. So here I'm selecting smart dimension. This height is 70 mm. This is 6 mm. Sixteen mm, sixteen mm, and select this line and this line. This horizontal distance is sixty mm. Enter. Now right click, select. Now. Just select this spline. Once you click this spline, you can see here arrows. You just have to select this arrow, and once you click on it, we'll get here add relations option. Okay. From this, I'll select here vertical. Once I select vertical, it is in vertical direction. Okay. Select again. Okay. Next, click again on this. And we need this arrow in a horizontal direction. So I'll select this arrow and select here horizontal. Now just go to features and select here revolved boss space. Here we have to give an axis of rotation. So I'll select this line and you can see in preview it's revolved. Okay. Now just select here front plane and then sketch. Now here I'll select a line and you will get here a center point. From this center point, I will draw one horizontal line. Again a vertical, right click, select. Again activate line command, select this point and draw a vertical line like this. Next, select a spline and from this point to this point, create one spline. Right click, select. Now let's assign some dimensions to the sketch. So I'll select your smart dimension. This height is 20 mm. Twenty mm. And this distance is 30 mm. Enter. Now I'll select this spline and same as it is, I'll select this arrow and I'll make it vertical. Again, select this arrow and make it horizontal. Okay. Now go to features and select here revolved boss base. Axis of revolution will be this line. OK. Now we will select this face and select sketch. Just select here convert entities and you can see this edge is now converted. Now go to features and select here extruded cut. 
in the end condition i'll select here up to surface and select this face and it will be extruded cut up to this surface okay now select this face and again select sketch on this face i'll select here a circle and i'll draw a circle like this smart dimension diameter will be 20 mm enter now go to features and select here extruded cut and make this cut from here through all and then ok now let's assign some fillets and chamfers to this so i'll select here first of all fillet now i'll select this edge give here radius 2 mm same as it is i will select this edge okay select here okay next select here chamfer and select this edge okay and give here distance to be 2 mm or you can give 2.5 mm enter and then ok yes it's perfect now ok select this space and select sketch on this space we have to create holes so first i'll select here circle and just in, on this line i'll draw a circle like this ok Select smart dimension, give this circle a diameter of 6 mm, enter. Right click, select. Now, just select this center point and select this origin point and give them relation vertical. Ok. Now select smart dimension and give this distance 60 mm, enter. Now we'll select here circular sketch pattern. Select the circle and give your number of entities to be 18. Okay. 360 degree and equal spacing you have to choose ok next select here fully defined sketch you have to uncheck here relations and then select calculate ok now go to features and select here extruded cut Make this end condition to be through all. OK. Now select here mirror and in the mirror face or plane, I'll select here right plane and we'll select here bodies to mirror and I'll select this body and you have to keep here much solid off. Uncheck here much solids and then OK. Just select here reference and go to axis. Select here front plane and top plane. Once you select both, you will get here an axis. Then select OK. So now we will go to insert features and select here move or copy option. OK. Now here we have to give a body to mirror. So we will select this body. Now we'll select here rotate and in this we have to give here axis. We have selected here axis. Now just give an angle of 10 degree. Enter and then select OK. Let me select this axis and make it hide. Now once you press Ctrl plus 4 to see its right view, 
you can see the holes are not concentric right now. So that's it in this video. I hope you like this tutorial. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching.